What's good, YouTube? Dom, Steven Sports Cards here, back with another video. Have a really cool card to share with you guys this week. Uh, it's one that I've been looking for for my Carly Stremski PC for a while now, and I finally found one in the price range that I wanted. And uh, super stoked to share it with you guys. This one is a big money edition, pun intended. The 1962 Topps Baseball Bucks of Carl Yastrzemski. So for those of you that don't know about this issue, there's 96 different baseball bucks that come in one, five, and ten dollar denominations. And uh, well, Carl Yastrzemski is on the one dollar, which I actually think is cool, like the first president. But most of the big stars, the mantles, the Stan Musials, etc., are in the ten dollars. Um, but there's also some really nice five dollar ones, Roberto Clemente and Hank Aaron. So twenty two future Hall of Famers are in this set, and it's a big chunk of it. Just really cool issues on the front. It has a little sketch of their home baseball park, their name, and their team and position on the bottom there, and a little blurb about their career. Now, this is an early Carl Yastrzemski piece, so it talks about his first year in the majors and his Pacific Coast League stats as well. So, really cool early Yastrzemski piece, but I really love the backs on these. Um, let's see if we can get that. So, it looks like a real dollar on the back, obviously smaller and with markers for people to not get confused and kids to not try to use this to buy stuff, but it has the one denomination in the middle. It's got the awesome vintage logo of the Red Sox here on the left. And then on the right here is the old American League logo, uh, which you don't see on a lot of cards and a lot of sports stuff, the old American National League logos, which I think are just super cool. But yeah, I mean, it's a big money, unique card for my Carl Yastrzemski collection. And uh, I finally checked one off the list. It has some tape residue on the front here. Um, the big problem with these is people would tape them or fold them because they were oversized and people just don't like when cards aren't standard size. Uh, but, you know, the tape didn't damage the card. I can still read and everything looks great. It's a PSA 1, but I got it for half the price of a raw one that doesn't look all that much better. So... Great to have this addition to the collection. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Have a good one. Keep collecting.